Mamute, 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 Hi everybody, what's happening? My name is Sean Mambugere. I am a hip-hop and Afro-pop dancer, choreographer, creative thinker, creative director, and owner of one of the biggest dance studios here in Zimbabwe called Eminem Dance Factory. I've been in the dance industry for, hmm, I think over a decade and a half, give or take two years. Um, I'm a love of bacon, believe that, true story. I think it's the next best thing since air conditioning in Texas, even though I've never been in Texas before. It's just a belief of mine. <laughs> I'm also um, an 18-time nominee and five-time recipient of the National Arts Merit Awards uh, for Most Outstanding Choreographer, that's two, Most Outstanding Male Dancer, that's one, and Most Outstanding Dance Group, that's two. I've toured several countries doing festivals, workshops, seminars, looking for bacon, I have to throw it in there, performances, teaching, and theatre productions in countries like, let me see, um, China, Germany, South Africa, Zambia, Botswana, and Malawi. I have performed in two of the top theatres in the world, the Beijing National Grand Theatre in China, if I remember correctly the name, and also the Artscape Theatre Centre in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I also hold a Bachelor of Science Honours degree in Applied Mathematics from NAST. NAST standing for the National University of Science and Technology for those who are not from Zimbabwe. <laughs> uh, did I mention I love bacon? I think I did. I had to say it twice because it's nice. So yeah, that's a bit about me and today I want to talk about some of the best advice I've received during the course of my life that has helped me to navigate and to move forward in my craft. Let's go. Yeah, so here we are. Um, I think during the course of life, um, you need to look outside your, of yourself um, for you to be able to hear what other people think, what other people have experienced, for you to be able to navigate life and not make the same mistakes that people that have gone before you have made, which is why it's important to look for advice, seek for advice and take what you can and apply it to your own life. So this section of our chat, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the best advice I've received during the course of my life. The first one I'll talk about is uh, sleep. You know, never stop pushing yourself. Some say you have to sleep for eight hours, but I say, why stop there? Why not nine, 10? You have to strive for greatness. <laughs> Sorry, don't listen. <laughs> I'm kidding everybody um but <laughs> uh the best advice i've i've received the first one i want to talk about is uh failure do not be afraid to fail you know i think i think failure after long perseverance is much grander for me than never to have a striving good enough to then be called a failure i think let me repeat that again um Failure after long perseverance is much grander for me than never having a striving good enough to then be called a failure. I think I like what G.K. Chesterton says. Um, he says that, he says it this way, he says, um, the only courage worth calling courage must necessarily mean that the soul passes a breaking point and does not break. Trust me, if I know many ways to fail in pursuing my, my craft and excellence, I, have, I can write a book. But it's not how many times you fall, it's how many times you choose to get back up after you fall. So do not be afraid to fail, keep moving forward. The other piece of advice that I, I received during the course of my life was disassociate yourself from following trends of culture. You know, um, someone described the generation of our time as people who just want, they don't want the process, they just want the product. Yourself care about the process. Don't be someone who wants to be careless and free. Be mature and grow in your wisdom and maturity every single day. Don't be obsessed about getting to the top. Be obsessed about growing. Because as you grow, eventually you'll get to the top. Because like I said, it's, not, it's all about the process. 
not about getting to the to the product. And there's a big difference between glowing and having the light. Glowing is surface stuff that anyone can do. But when it's light, it's coming from within, going up, going out. So always make sure that you do not follow trends and you decipher what does your life look like in a culture that is going in a certain direction. You know, the other um, piece of advice <laughs> that I received in my life was always look beyond your obstacles, right? Because when obstacles arise, you can change your direction to reach your goal. But what you should, what you should never do is change your decision to get there. A lot of people, when they see obstacles, they then quit. They throw in the towel. They throw out the baby with the bathwater. But like I said, do not change your decision to get there. When obstacles come, change your direction to reach your goal. Because the pathway to maturity is not first becoming an intelligent person, but it's becoming an obedient person. What you do with money, leisure, food, gadgets has more to do with your capacity and desire for solid food in terms of maturity than where you went to school or what books you read. What other piece of advice can I think of? Don't expect the world to treat you fairly all the time. Uh, someone once told me that expecting the world to treat you fairly because you assume that you're a good person is like expecting the bull not to charge because you're a vegetarian. The bull does not matter what, you, what kind of food you eat. If you're in its way, it's going to come charging right at you. So if you live your life knowing that uh, life is not going to treat you fairly, you have to develop thick skin and be assertive in who you are and know your identity and be able to stand your ground. I think it's super important in, in this life. And I think I just want to say right now, before I even continue with my some of the advice I've received during the course of my life, Denzel Washington once said something that really resonated with me, you know, especially in this age where it's all about people knowing what you do because you post every single thing on social media. It could be eating, sleeping, brushing your teeth, blinking, breathing. Focus on the things that matter and things that bring change to life. Denzel Washington, he said something that resonated with me and funny enough, it was a tweet. And this is what he said. Uh, what did he say? Um, just because you don't share it on social media doesn't mean that you're not up to big things. Live it and stay low key. Privacy is everything. Always be someone who is scarce and not always in front of people's eyes. Because if people know everything about you, then who are you to people and who are you to yourself? Know what goes to the public eye and know what stays private and have that demarcation about yourself. You know, um, the other piece of advice that I received during the course of my life, especially in this art form, you know, it's easy to, to look at other people who dance the way that you like. And obviously you can be inspired by them, but it's important to not be a copycat of those people because I can't, I can't possibly be living the best life for me in the creative arts if I'm constantly copying what other people are doing. Invest time in finding out who you are, how you create, how you piece your stuff together and be comfortable in that and then mature and grow in that, you know? And don't be ashamed of what you do. I remember when I started off, a lot of people would say, okay, so Sean, what do you do? Then I'm like, I dance. They'd be like, oh, okay, cool. So apart from dancing, what else do you do? It's like asking a, a doctor, okay, apart from operating in people, what do you do? Uh, or a banker, apart from handling money, what do you do? Or an actuary, apart from, I don't know, doing audits, what do you do? That's what they do. For me, dance is what I do. It's not who I am, there's a big difference, but it's what I do. I like what Stan Lee said uh, that I read when he was doing a presentation before he passed on. He, he said that I think back in the day he used to be embarrassed because he thought just being a comic book writer while other people were building bridges and going on to medical careers was super important. And then he began to realize that entertainment is one of the most important things in people's lives. Without it, they might go off the deep end. I feel that if you're able to entertain people, you are doing a very good thing. And that really resonated with me because of the view that people had about dance. And now I'm in a space where I'm like, imagine a world without art and creativity. What does that world look like? If the world is just filled with 
architects and doctors not that they are not doing important stuff but i always say that the mere fact that something exists means that it is important if it wasn't important there was no need for it to exist so that's the advice i would give you that be happy with what you do uh, and do not let anyone speak down on what you do just because to them it does not feel or sound important enough in the totality of what makes a community a community so what other advice can i give well humility is key in life pride kills you know and humility the the, the good thing about humility is humility it never loses all right uh, you can't beat me if i'm not competing and comparing myself with you so humility never loses and if you always work on on your character and being humble and you always mind your own business and you stay in your lane then you have blinders like a horse and you're always focused on your goal moving forward i've lived my life in such a way that i've always been a sponge like i always tell myself that shawn whoever you meet there's something that they can teach you and uh, share with you that you don't know because if you're always on the talking end and not always on the listening end the it poses a problem you know listening means that you are you care about what you're hearing because you are you you are telling yourself that i might learn something i don't know so always have a um, a big ear that is willing to hear and a mouth that is not quick to speak and to say stuff do not be afraid to grow and stop shrinking yourself to fit in spaces that you've outgrown be willing to move forward unashamedly be willing to venture forward without any remorse be willing to outgrow your spaces that way you become a person who realizes their potential and keeps on moving forward without staying stagnant and staying still you know because in life everything is 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 a fight we might not get everything that we fight for but everything we get it is a fight so once you stop fighting for what you want what you don't want will automatically take over you know so it's important to just keep the ball rolling and the last thing i'll just share um the last piece of advice i mean there's more it's um procrastination remember indecision about anything is still a decision right make choices be mature make choices and live by those choices and be willing to face the consequences or the ramifications of your choices and always remember to develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth you are telling the world who you are i hope this has been helpful for you in terms of advice that i've received during the course of my life hope it builds you up strengthens you and remember the first one i talked about strive for greatness don't stop on 7 hours of sleep go 8 9 10 strive for greatness <laughs> i'm shawn and i'm out thank you for spending time with me see you in the next one peace